kevinforsonovert.com uh, Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Audacity to deal with the digital distortion um, how to um, try to cure um, limited clipping in your audio uh, so first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to open up a file it's actually a, a movie a short movie that I made and when I was playing it I noticed I noticed a little bit of distortion so I've opened up the audio from the film and as you can see there is a little bit of distortion here there and scattered throughout the file so what I'm going to do now I'm going to zoom in into an area where there is distortion and I'm going to see what that distortion looks like and as you can see there it's not too severe there are areas here and there of distortion and it's not too dense it's literally just a few fractions of a fraction of a second scattered throughout the file I should be able to deal with this uh, using clip fix so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom out again uh, I'm going to select everything and, and the first thing to do when using clip fix is to go to effects amplify and to reduce the amplitude by quite a an amount, uh, qu quite a large amount. I'm reducing it by 15 decibels there. So that will, sorry, that will allow Clip Fix a little bit of room to do its business. So I'm going to go to Effects and Clip Fix. The default settings are 95%, and um, those should be fine. So I'm going to hit OK. and uh, you can't see much but what I'm going to do now I'm going to amplify hit OK and as you can see we've no longer got any any um, any clipping anywhere um, and if I was to zoom in to the wave file uh, as you can see the, the wave file looks looks pretty normal you can't see um, hard clipping anywhere so that's basically what clip fix does it's um, useful only really with um, fairly limited clipping if you've got a lot of clipping you will still hear the distortion even after you've used clip fix but where there is a limited amount of distortion as with this file I should now be able to export it and remerge it with the video and it should play without any noticeable distortion now, as I say, if there is a lot of distortion, I've, I've tried this technique with quite a lot of different files, and where there is a huge amount of distortion, it, you, you still hear the distortion uh, after you've used the, uh, the clip fix. Um, but where there is a limited amount, it really makes a huge amount of difference. The only thing I would say is that, uh, the only uh, minus, the only drawback is that on a slow computer, what you'd probably have to do is to, I mean, let me undo the clip fixing. What you'd probably have to do is to select a small region. Well, actually, I can redo the amplify. You probably have to apply clip fix to a small region at a time uh, and do it that way and then move on to the next region. The reason for that is because it does tend to use up quite a lot of system resources on a slow computer. On a fast computer, it does seem to zip through. Uh, the uh, the processing of the effect very quickly without any any, any real um, uh, noticeable uh, delay compared to other other effects. So there you have it. That's clip fix. Um, very useful for uh, limited clipping. For instance, when you're using a mobile phone camera or something, and you haven't got uh, the ability to control the volume uh, that you're recording at um, as closely as you'd want. This this will allow you to um, undo some of the damage that uh, clipping can cause. Okay, now you might be wondering whether it's possible using clip fix to um, create distortion and then to kind of um, half fix it with clip fix and well, you know what I mean. Uh, let, me, let me show you. Let me uh, open up a new file. This is something I made earlier. 
Uh, let me play for you. Now, if ever you've wanted to create that sort of effect, I know, I know, I, know I have. Uh, if ever you wanted to create that sort of effect, then um, it's possible to create something like this. I created this earlier using uh, Clipfix um, and uh, Gverb. So, um, thought I'd uh, show you quickly how you can create something, uh, something like this, uh, in Audacity. What I'm going to do first of all is to go to Generate Noise, and I'm going to choose Pink Noise, 10 seconds. Amplitude, I'm going to choose 0.2. I'm going to say OK, and there we've got some pink noise. So I'm going to play that so you can hear what it sounds like. That's what pink noise sounds like. So basically, what I'm going to do now is to apply a G verb. So that's Effect. G verb and the settings are the numbers are 2 to 0 0.65, 0 0.85, minus 7, minus 6.5, minus 8.5. Uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to try and put a copy of this in the article uh, a bit lower down so you can copy them at leisure. Now I've applied that and um, we can hear what it sounds like now. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to repeat, repeat G-verb, and we can see we've got some serious clipping taking place there. So I'm going to go to Effects, Amplify. Now, sometimes with 1.3, Audacity 1.3, you do get this thing where it allows you to go back to the non-clipped um, waveform. It uh, it suggests to you the um, um, the number you need to well it automatically comes up with the number you need to have a peak amplitude of zero so if I was to press OK I would no longer have any clipping but what I'm going to do I'm going to undo that and I want to retain a little bit of the clipping so I'm going to go to amplify and I'm just going to hit 3 there and I'm going to hit allow clipping um, I suppose I could go a bit higher actually. I'm going to go for 6. Why not? Um, this will allow about 6 decibels uh, of clipping above the um, above the maximum. So I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, we've got a bit of clipping there. Now, because with this particular version of Audacity, it uh, sort of uh, <coughs> remembers what the actual figures are above the clipping, as it were. Um, so it doesn't actually clip permanently. What I want to do now is to do a permanent clip, which requires an application of the hard limit limiter. So I'm going to choose that, and the settings there are just zero, one, zero, which are the default settings. Hit OK, and we should have hard clipping now, permanently in the waveform. I'm going to go to Effects. I'm going to go to Amplify. I'm going to amplify by minus 15. And um, now we should have um, distortion with serious clipping. As you can see there, we've got hard clipping um, all over the place, basically. So that's exactly what I want. I'm going to apply the clip fix to that. And I'm going to change this to 99%. And uh, that repairs some of the clipping. It Prepares the clipping just a little bit. So I'm now going to go back to G verb, <coughs> same settings as before. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to Amplify. Just going to hit OK so that it gets rid of the clipping. And we'll give that a try and see what that sounds like. And basically, that is it. I mean, you can sort of continue doing that. You can continue applying G-verb. And um, go to Amplify. If you want more distortion, if you want to retain a bit of distortion, put 6. Well, if you want to introduce a bit more distortion, put 6 in there. Allow clipping. And you can start again going through to Hard Limiter. Amplify. 
fix and gverb I'm just going to hit OK this time and we can see what that sounds like now If you continue doing that, you should get a slightly uh, more dense sound coming out, a more powerful sound coming out. Um, and uh, again, if you go and uh, use uh, the compressor, you can get uh, still more volume and, and more uh, punch to to the sound that you get. So basically, that's how I got the distortion um, uh, that I showed you earlier. Um, and yeah, it's a quite a useful way of um, generating interesting noises. There are quite a number of different ways of um, taking audio that you've already got and introducing distortion into that. There are a number of um, VST plugins, I'm sure you already know that. Uh, and uh, what I'll try and do is to... I'll put a couple of links um, further down below that will uh, show you... Uh, I'll put uh, a couple of links to a few decent um, VST plugins that uh, allow you to do all sorts of distortion on stuff that you've already recorded. But uh, for the time being, that is it. I uh, hope you found that useful and thank you for watching. See you next time.